What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another Thursday roundup. We're going to be going through everything very, very quickly. Of course, we will have new player of the weeks as well. A couple of interesting choices in there from Konami. We'll go to that in a second. We do have a new J-League selection. J-League East, it's going to be called. So these are a selection of players that you see here. They've got a new design. And listen, these cards are always kind of interesting for the events, but they're not really going to be... They're not going to be that usable if you're playing top rank. Anywhere above Division 2 or Division, you know, 1, obviously, um, before the reset, and even at the reset in March, like, it's going to be sweaty. So these cards do have a little bit of, um, you know, stuff lacking. But then their player ID and their style and their actual card themselves can make up for it. So that is going to be from the 29th of February to the 7th. We also have the J-League West, so it's pretty much rinse and repeat. You've got another selection of players there, and they're going to be ongoing as well. So, listen, I do like that they're bringing different cards. I do feel like that they still need to find a sweet spot between giving cards that are, like, really usable and other cards that are really fun. Uh, we'll get into that. We'll be streaming later on as well. Comparing these and what they've done with the Player of the Week booster, I think the Player of the Week booster is now a very... It's a very attractive thing for either newcomers or for people that are looking for a unique card. Because for me, I mean, I don't need to spin any more. I have got an ultimate team um, and pretty much the best team I could possibly have. We also have a Liga BBVA MX. This is, there's a lot of cards lads, with this campaign. Obviously, they've kind of had um, these cards pretty much there for a while and they've just unleashed them now. And I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to obviously refresh things in terms of the card selection. A lot of these cards or other versions of these cards have come out before. So this little trailer here, there isn't really much to um, talk about in terms of the actual cards themselves, but all of these are ongoing until the 7th of March, including another Korean League pack as well. So yeah, it's just, it's kind of one of these things I think where they do feel like that they probably have the balance now right between the cards. And it would be interesting to see how many people are actually going very deep for the cards. And obviously the likes of Schmeichel, the likes of Rijkaard, the likes of Baggio, the likes of, you know, any of those cards, they're going to be very popular. So it's about giving these up. We also had that trailer last week. So that's all the trailer for those cards there. Of course, we do have the login bonus. We got 50,000 as well as an apology. And it says that there is an ongoing visual effect of certain player cards from the player of the week uh, European uh, club championship. Specifically, the frame of some player cards would appear green in color in the following scenes. Players with a booster, um, and this is just a display only issue, it doesn't affect the stats or anything like that. So straight in here, we don't have any um, update on anything, but we do have a, a little player issue, a player skill issue. Discover that the names and description text of player skills long throw and goalkeeper long throw contain erroneous errors in certain languages and 50,000 GP. I mean, we'll take it, it's not much anyway, but we'll take it, and then they also have that in the inbox. So basically when you're watching these videos you're probably seeing what the players are but just to go through um a couple of things with the events obviously we know the eFootball league is still going to be ongoing until that but co-op is back as we predicted yesterday in our what's coming thursday video we have the co-op event that's back we also have the japanese clubs teamed event the mexican clubs teamed event we have the italian clubs that's still ongoing if you haven't passed that you can still play it and then online, we're going to have these two events as well, the Japanese clubs and also the Mexican clubs. The Mexican clubs is going to give you your worldwide player of the week spin. And the Japanese club is going to be for your trainer points against the AI and obviously for your coins as well. So it is interesting. This one is actually for the player of the week this week and it's uh, against the AI. Um, but the ones that give you the coins is obviously going to be the ones that are online. So yeah, I mean, it's just about mixing it up, but it's still, it needs massive, it needs massive, massive, massive work in that area. Now, mostly when people are checking this, they check two things. They check in the point store. I don't think we're going to have anything updated in the point store until uh, six, seven days time. I think this time next week, next Thursday is going to be kind of an important uh, content refresh and season refresh. So that brings us to obviously the contract and the player of the week. Now, we were meant to get two player of the weeks, and we do get two player of the weeks. So that is nice uh, if you are looking at that. And I can see that Queeveen Kelleher is going to have a booster. Holy moly, man, that is nice. So there's all the players there. You have the European Club Championship. We, of course, will be doing player of the week uh, reviews as well. We'll have that up in a separate video. But just to give a quick glance over that, you've got the Bruyne with the booster, Oshiman, Brahim Diaz, of course. We've missed out on uh, guessing him. Luke de Jong is there. We've got Marquinhos, Pedri, Luis Alberto, 
they've all got the booster. De Bruyne, he's down as a whole player. He's down with the booster. That's going to be his shooting plus three. Mm, pretty decent, man. This could be pretty decent. Soul control, one touch pass. You obviously can't give any skills to these cards, but yeah, this looks like a pretty decent Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, we would like to test Kevin De Bruyne, so hopefully we're able to spin for him. I mean, you do get a limited uh, draw of spins on these. I think that they've hit this very, very cleverly, the player of the week, because you have two dangling carrots of interesting cards to get. Um... And then also you have like cards that you're, you know, you don't mind spinning for. Now, this is a more interesting one, I think. Kelleher, I didn't see Kelleher coming. Vlahovic is going to be there as well. The Bala is going to be there. We've got Arsenal's left back. We've got Fulham's CB, uh, Man City CB, Kanji, AA Kamara, who scored a hat trick. So yesterday we guessed how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're six out of eleven that we guess. We didn't think I didn't think that they'd give one to Kelleher lads. And the fact that he gets a booster as well. Oh man, I want that card. I really want that card from the Irish man. Pity he doesn't have a face though, man. What is that, man? What is that? Low punt. He doesn't have long throw, but low punt is huge. He's 188. Reflexes awareness. Oh man, I want this card badly. I really do want this card. We will be streaming today. We will be spinning today. And I think these cards are going to make a big difference to my free-to-play squad. You know, just to have something different. Modric is also there as well. It'd be interesting to see if we get a, 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 this card is any good. 98 ball control, 91 type possession, 88 balance, which will go to 90 when you do get him into the squad. That is nice as well. Speed acceleration. We'll do a full review on them uh, very, very quickly. But yeah, I mean, that's a pretty decent player of the week selection. If you guys haven't logged in yet and you haven't seen these yet, um, that's a pretty decent selection. Oshiman, we also guessed him yesterday. Um, or did we? I think we did. Uh, Oshiman, Kevin De Bruyne, Pedri. Marquinhos is always an interesting card. One of my favorite players to use on my road to glory. He's got every single thing you could possibly want as a CB. He's just a dominant presence at the back. And with that build-up play style as well, he's just a beast. Um, I do like that card. I think that it's not going to be as good as the free one that they gave. But here, it is It is an interesting one. Alberto is always an interesting card as well. He's got insane dribbling, but he's down as a box-to-box. -box. So that's a very interesting card as well. But again, we will do a full review on those, boys, um, when we get it. But we'll get this video out first, and then we'll have the player of the week out as well. So yeah, that's interesting, man. Other than that, it's just the same as these ones. These guys are, you can clear the box, um, and they also are from the J-League and the different leagues, and you do have to train them up as well. They're not the max level. So I guarantee you that there'll be a couple of decent players in here. It'll just be about kind of testing them out, and that's the right place to do it, is in your, you know, uh, road to glory, where you don't have to worry too much. Not that I care about winning games, but there's some, I know that there'll be a couple of players in here with, you know, 30 levels or so, um, such as this guy, that would be quite dominant. But yeah, at this stage in the game, these are basically just content card fillers. That's what I would call them. Those four leagues there, with no disrespect to any of the leagues. It's just that majority of people that are playing this game will, will spin for the player of the week. Other than that, the eFootball League, everything else is still the same. The packs are still the same. Uh, everything else is still the same. So, yeah, there hasn't been too much changes. I think the big update will come next week. But Co-op is back. We've got two Player of the Weeks and another four selection of players. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to spin one while we're here. I'm actually going to spin one, and hopefully we get Kelleher. Let's see who we get, man. It would be beastly if we get Kelleher. He's kind of who I want to get. Um, and then we will be back later on with another Player of the Week video, another stream. We're going to be streaming pretty long today. Come on, give me Kelleher. No, it's not. It's Liga Española. It's Rafinha. He's not even going to get a look at in my main squad. But on my road to glory, we'll be spinning as well. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pop into the stream later. We have a bit of news and we're also going to be doing a lot of stuff, training. Uh, the reset is obviously still on, so we will be doing that. And then... We will be, as I said, talking about some bits of news and stuff like that and playing some games. So I will talk to you then. Peace.